What is up everyone? It's That Motion Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do two new car videos, guys. I picked these both up today. And funny thing is, we drove one home and and the other one we trailered. And they were both at different locations. So yeah, that was kind of a fun deal today. So I was on Marketplace. I've been kind of searching on there for a little bit. I was making a truck up north anyway. I figured, you know what, let's kind of see what's all on there. And I decided to just message, I messaged a couple guys. They both got back to me. So I was like, you know what, I got time. Let's look at both of them today. Uh, so the one I looked at about noonish, and on it, and this one is not mine. This is not my car. I bought it, but it's for someone else, a good buddy of mine. And he's actually going to be one running it but he might be driving it. So we'll see what he does. But right now it's technically my car, but I bought it for him or it, he will pay me back eventually. But yeah, he's uh he's pretty stoked and he drove this thing home. It's got a little bit of issues, but honestly it's a pretty freaking sweet ride. And I think we might keep it around for a little bit. And the other one I picked up about an hour in the, in the one direction from it. Uh, 45 minutes or so and I picked I got I paid a little bit of cash and I traded a different vehicle for it uh, Which he will be picking that up tomorrow Guys ready to see what I got today. I Picked up two Cadillacs. I got a 78 uh, Front wheel drive. Yes, this is a front wheel drive Cadillac uh, I can't uh, Beretti or something like that. I can't think of it but this thing was an old timer's car. Uh, he, he actually had two of them. Um, he sold, well, the old timer actually sold this to the person I bought it from. And the, he got, he, the person bought it for like 200 bucks. I paid more, but this thing runs, drives, stops the, the works. It, it's flawless. It drives down the road. Awesome. My buddy is the one that actually drove it home. So, uh, everything, taillights work, uh, everything's, it's in actually fairly decent shape. It's not all rotted out in the back. It's got a little bit of rot in the sides, like here, paint starting to flake. Um, this was the old timer's winter car. He actually has a second Cadillac, not like this one though, and he drives it during the summer. So honestly, and the guy actually had a lot more cars. He had a lot of 60s and 70s cars, uh, trucks, vans, stuff like that. He did have one Caprice. I thought about it, but I decided not to because it was missing the front A arms and it was missing the rear end. It was full of junk too. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just bite my tongue and not buy that one. I thought about it, but decided not to. But yeah, this thing runs, drives down the road smooth. It rides like you're floating on clouds. It's a sweet ride. So we might end up keeping this one around a little bit. The only issue with it is, is there's a slight ticking noise in the mo in the engine bay. Uh, we're pretty sure it could be a lifter. Uh, it's just stuck or something of that sort. It's not a rod knock. Um, it's a little underpowered, but um goes about 50 60 miles an hour just just fine but it just seems a little underpowered but it will be good enough for a derby eventually but for now it's just a kind of a we might keep this as a daily driver or a sunday driver uh something we take out every once in a while we'll have to get plates for it and uh we do have the title which is a perk and we will probably keep this on the road for a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's no rear end or nothing. So if we really wanted to, I don't know how hard it would be to swap this over to rear wheel drive. Um, I don't think relatively too hard, but it does have this typical rot because of the vinyl cover. These are the worst freaking things for cars. Um, yes, it looks good and whatnot, but Honestly, it just destroys cars, but this is still pretty solid. It's just surface, so that's kind of a good thing. I think eventually we'll be okay. 
but this is not something we're going to be keeping around for a long long period of time internally it's not the cleanest thing but it's good enough for driving around and having a little bit of fun um it's got an aftermarket radio uh the antenna doesn't quite work we have to kind of figure that out but it should be fine but yeah this thing is this thing is pretty freaking sweet we're pretty happy on this line i've actually been eyeing this thing up for about um i'd say about about half a year it's been listed up for almost a year and i've been watching it watching it no one really bid on it the guy was saying he had a lot of interest but no one serious so honestly i'm glad i got it when i did because he was it was talking about hauling it into scrap and scrap right now is garbage so so honestly i'm glad we saved it from getting in the crusher i mean this thing it runs and drives and it's pretty freaking nice Bumper's really nice. All the chrome is really, really nice. I mean, this is a very nice ride. I'm pretty stoked on us finding this. Uh, for now, it's just going to be our kind of... It's not going to be my. It's not going to be mine. I keep saying our, but it's going to be his little Sunday driver. He wants to drive it around and have a little fun. So, but eventually, I'm I'm trying to convince him the Derby. So, we'll see what happens. And we come to this thing. And this thing is pretty freaking clean. Like, very, very clean. I'm actually pretty stoked on how clean it is. Uh, the only issues is transmission's junk. It's missing the drive shaft, which not not a big deal. I need to find some lug nuts and this and that. But honestly, it needs a transmission. It does run. It runs actually pretty good. The only thing that kind of sucks is uh, the transmission being junk, which I'll just swap it out and do whatever. But for how clean, for what I got this for and what I traded, I think I broke even on my trade deal. I pay, I am selling my Dodge uh, 2500 truck. It's uh a very rusted out shit box I've had that I took field racing. If you guys ever remember that video, I drove that around. I'm pretty sure I burnt out the clutch. It could be the transmission, but I'm pretty sure it's the clutch. So then that's been sitting for about half a year now since last October. So I said, Hey, I got a couple vehicles. Maybe we'll do some trading and whatnot. And he's like, what you all got? And I told him I had a Lincoln town car. He said, not really interested in that. I'm like, oh yeah, I got this, I got this Dodge too. And he's like, oh, that piqued his interest. So uh I traded that truck and a little bit of cash for this car. Granted, I I'm not gonna be making much money back because majority of the interior is gone. A lot of I mean, maybe might be able to sell some of the dash, maybe some miscellaneous stuff that's in here. Uh, a couple there's a couple door panels which this one's all tore up, so that's probably not going to be worth nothing. I uh, might be able to sell, like, this stuff here, that stuff, that stuff. That door panel there is gone, which is kind of a bummer, but there's some switches, some other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, the only downside to this vehicle, other than majority of the interior gun, is they had air shock suspension. And what this car originally was, was one of those like cars that they would do like bouncing with, uh, like uh, low riders or, or whatever it is, stuff like that. So the, the springs are missing out from the front and the back, I think they're gone too. I don't know if I'll be able to get into here. I think I shut it. Let's see if we can sneak inside without me dropping my phone. Yeah, as you can see in there, those two shock tower things in the back, those were what was used for the air ride suspension. And they're pretty much uh, junk. So I don't even think that might be the other door panel. Maybe some other miscellaneous junk. So 
there's probably a few things i know i can sell these back lights those are worth actually pretty decent money uh this back bumper i might be able to sell um maybe even some of this miscellaneous trim part parts like this right here that should sell um a lot of these on these cars they like to rot away so i think that's a pretty pretty good deal and a lot of this is like all here this is all solid i'm guessing this was not i think he said this was possibly a south dakota car at one point in time so this thing is actually really really good i mean a little bit of rot starting on this door but that is that's nothing so this will be a pretty solid car i think um just got to figure out how to bend them right and notch them and whatnot and the back ends are a little long so we'll see what it does uh it's pretty much should be about the same as a caprice so we'll see how it goes and i just can't get over this olive green paint this thing just looks ugh, ugly the ugly duckling that's for sure but yeah there's a few little things here yet um probably might be able to sell some stuff but it's going to be kind of a stretch i might try to get some money back out of it but i for sure can sell those back lights there those should run me about 150 bucks and then these lights here i think i can for this pair can probably or for the whole set probably sell it for 50 bucks this chrome or this piece right here sell that for maybe a hundred bucks uh it's got a little bit of damage here they might be able to patch that but it's still in really good shape so it might be able to sell that for a hundred bucks something like that this um edging trimming that's not all rotted away might be able to sell all of that together for maybe 50 bucks the bumper itself might be able eh, maybe might be able to sell a little bit of it i don't know it did bend in the middle when i was loading so that might play a factor in selling it too so we'll see what happens but i am pretty stoked on finding this car i literally it was literally posted today and i didn't i thought it was posted a lot later a while ago but no it, it literally got posted today and i was like the first one to message so i'm sure there was a lot of people itching to get at this car i didn't even sell the glass too like that might be worth i don't know 20 bucks for per glass panel so one two three four four sell the five hundred bucks for all the glass so i think i can make some money back but then again you got to have people that actually want it so we'll see what happens but i am pretty stoked on finding these guys these two cars um a couple more to the fleet but i know a lot of you guys are you are never gonna run all that the reason why I'm not going to run them all is because if I get kids someday, a lot of that a lot of that money is not going to be going to cars anymore. So I'm preparing for the future. If I want to run, keep running cars down the line, I'm going to save up enough enough cars to actually get ahead. Because eventually these cars are going to dry up, and you're going to be they're going to be a lot harder to find, and they're going to be a lot more expensive. So I'm trying to weasel my way into collecting as many as I can and try to get them as cheap as I can and try to make as much money back as I can. But eventually, these cars are going to be really hard to find. And like these 70s, very late set, or 70s, maybe late 70s to mid 70s cars, like one of those tough cars, like the Cadillacs and the the fords like the crown vix those one those will dry up eventually and then you got to try to find the next toughest car which 80s cadillacs are pretty tough cars for stock shows not weld shows not stuff like that i run all stock shows now i'm never really gonna ever get into running weld shows i don't really want to stick that much money into them or into my cars i want to have fun that's my goal. I want to have fun. I want to try to win too, but I want to be able to have fun. So like this is a pretty clean car. I'll save it 
and eventually down the line I'll run it but now that it's clean I'm gonna put it out of the way and try to sell stuff out of it and make my money back so that way I can find more cars but for now I think it's a pretty good find uh, like both of these cars were listed for a thousand bucks this one was listed for a thousand that one was listed for a thousand I got this guy about halfway uh, to price I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for it because that way now if someone wants to buy it from me they can't because they'll know <laughs> what I paid for it but this one I got about half of what I paid that one I got a trade deal with a little extra cash so and I paid 600 for that truck so I figured I'd break I got basically a good deal on it so I think we'll be okay and then I got one less vehicle I got to worry about on my property and and I can keep on keep on searching but thank you guys for watching my videos I appreciate it hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And we'll catch you guys all in the next video.